Hey guys, Big Bro here. Today we are going to be doing a review on this knockoff blaster. Now this this knockoff blaster here is called the Total Stream Air Rev 8 D1S. Okay, so already really long name. It's pretty pretty cool looking. I've got a bunch of darts loaded up, but first of all, I have a shout out to Brick Fidgeter. I think is that's how you know say his name. I love his channel. It's one of my favorites, and you know he's commented on a lot of my videos and been a good, uh, big supporter. So thank you to him. Anyway, let's get on to this. Um, you know it's, I mean the the handle's not actually that bad. The trigger pull is a little like, it's a difference. Not bad, it's different. The this grip is too small for me. Uh, I just think it's a little small, but it's not too bad. It's got, what, how many darts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight darts. Um, drum cylinder thing. So I'll fire here. Huh. That was awful. There we go. That was just a bad dart, but that fired, you know, a good at least 30 feet. It's got a really rapidly prime. And fire. These darts are worn so they don't go quite as far, but that was still a really good shot. Here, these won't go quite as far because they're the old Busby, but still decent. It auto rotates, which is something that really old blaster like should have. It's a lot better than some knockoffs I know. Not, not, not looking at any specifics at all, but X shot dart. This is, I think it's a pretty solid pickup. I think it was ten dollars. Pretty neat, and if you like half fire it, it still fires, and um, but not as well. So it's kind of like got different modes of firing. If you fire it all the way back, then it'll fire the best it can. I think this, you know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty neat blaster. A lot better than some knockoffs they have out there that I've seen. You know, it's like. It obviously doesn't have slam fire because it's patented and stuff. But you know, if you like, if you like kind of different modes of firing or whatever, it's pretty neat. The trigger pull isn't that bad. The handle is big enough for most people's ha most people, yeah, people's hands, and it's just pretty comfy overall. It's kind of like a knockoff to a Maverick with an open cylinder, and I think it gets. Slightly worse performance than a Maverick, so not the best, but still, it's you know, it's decent compared to most knockoffs. Like, I have a Maverick over there, if I shoot it from here, it would barely touch the wall. This one barely misses it, so it's you know, slightly less than a Maverick. And Maverick isn't the greatest of performance blasters, but I mean, you can't say much for like a $10 knockoff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'll have a link to this if you want to buy it in the description if I can find it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.